You're now tuned into Kofi's Universe since you're just sitting on Uranus. This is the number one YouTube channel for hip hop culture news, informed black social issues, song reaction videos, and even comedy. So be sure to like this post. And if you haven't already subscribed, do so right about now. Razzcast. YouTube salute. Kendrick Lamar said he's Pac and Biggie in the control verse and punch names the best response to Kendrick Lamar's control verse. Let's talk about it. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up the video, hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. So TDE president punch appeared on Matt Hoffa podcast. Y'all make sure you check out my Matt Hoffa and um, sub to his um, podcast. That's one of my favorite podcasts right now. And he spoke about, you know, K-Dot, everything was going on over there. You know, all the, you know, changes is going on with TDE. And he recently spoke about, you know, Kendrick Lamar deeming himself the king of New York on Big Sean's control record that came out in 2013. And he said Kendrick was saying he was Pac and Biggie. Punch shared, adding that was a corrupt bar originally. That was a corrupt bar. Corrupt was referencing that he was Frank White. So Kendrick was giving praise to that, then took it in his own direction. So back in 2013, if you was living under a rock, Kendrick weighed in on the responses he received from the controversial verse saying, it's not about West, what coast, it's not about what side we on, it's about being as great as Biggie and Pac. The two cats that I referenced from jump. I feel like student of the work they did. I would never try to take the history from what Pac and Big laid. And to keep it a hundred with you, Snoop will always be number one. See, he thinks Snoop Dogg is number one to me. And I ain't not, I ain't mad about that. I'm not mad about that because that's the area he, you know, he grew up in like, damn, there's a Snoop Dogg, yada, yada, yada. And um, he also talked about his relationship with Kendrick saying the only emotion really is happiness and joy. We did it. We reached a certain level that nobody reached. That's it. Job well done. And I ain't mad about that. Like I said, at the end of the day, Kendrick was never trying to say he was better than Tupac and Biggie. Some people out here can say that that's fine. He was just giving, you know, he was paying homage to like Tupac had the West Coast, Biggie had the um, East Coast. And this is in the 90s, you know, at the top of their game. When it comes to record sales, when it comes to, you know, the videos, being on MTV, being on Yo! and TV Raps, being on um, Rap City, you know, whatever station they had out there, even if it was the box, if people know about the box, whatever, whatever that was going on, if it was VH1, they, they, they was doing their thing, they was winning the most awards at the award um, ceremonies, everything. They had it on lock. They had everything that they dropped a single or remix or it was appeared in somebody's song. Biggie and Tupac had that shit on lock. So, you know, Kendrick was just saying like, hey, I'm doing both at the same time. I have the record sales. I have the wordplay. You know, I got this on lock right now. I got this on lock right now. Now, TDE. Like I said, punch names best response to Kendrick Lamar's control verse. So he said, I listened to all of them. I think it might have been Joe Budden. I like Budden. He added, it was funny to us. We literally sitting back like, ha, niggas mad. Look, all of them responding. That's crazy. Released just days after Control dropped Budden's response title, Lost Control, found himself reasserting his lyrical pedigree for over five minutes, jabbing Kendrick Lamar in the process. Out rhyming ASAP ain't showing me where you're way at. I'm on my shit today. You the king of New York with a question mark. You might as well have spit on Biggie's grave. Couldn't let you slip away. He spit over the original no ID beat. I'm in a court of public opinion ready to click and spray. Light J electronic ass up. That's my exhibit A. Bitch kill my vibe is what you want to get into. Drown them all in a swimming pool. Full of phlegm and drool. All right, so Joe Budden took aim at those mentioned in Kendrick verse when Kendrick said King of New York. I mean, excuse me, he said King of New York. My nigga, stop it five. Keep it funky. Drake wash you twice. Tell me Tyler 
That fire was saliva, I replied. Don't bring that lie around. Run up on me with the silencer, nigga. Quiet down. Damn. So, like I said, and even, and I remember in the interview, this was like a, on Power 106, Kendrick, he has said that King Los was his favorite response. He said, I like that Los verse. He said, Joe Budden did his thing. Joel Ortiz, a lot of people with different approaches. Joe had the facts in his verse. A few things that he felt Papoose had, the comical joint, Los was flipping his words and putting that spunk on it. I think he had the killer thing, though. Yeah, Los killed it out of everybody. Um, and Punch said he didn't take any offense to any of the responses and stated his verse was simply meant to innovate hip-hop. The whole point of the thing was not to challenge for the moment, but challenge for the whole exemption excuse me ex extension of the hip-hop culture not just off the hype but what we going to do after and this was on a senior hall show we are going to do to challenge ourselves how we're going to make better records how we're going to push for it and innovate the next generation coming up rather just sticking in the moment of the verse um that was the whole point of the joint i hope everybody really gets into the idea and that's good like i said keep it on wax because i heard everybody response you know meek had a response papoose had a response um you know everybody responded to that because at that time in 2012 2013 remember you had j cole meek mill asap rocky Pusha t doing his thing coming up you know kendrick with his second studio album you know everybody at that time you know um Joe Budden, you had, um, who was it, King Crooked, um, Joel Ortiz, like all these rappers were really holding it down. So like he said, I was just, you know, letting it be known, like, hey, it's friendly competition, lyrical sparring. That's all it's about, lyrical sparring. Keep it on wax, keep it on record. That's pure hip hop. So y'all let me think how y'all feel about Kendrick saying he was pocking Biggie, but paying homage at the same time that you... Who do you feel had the best response to Kendrick Lamar's control verse? Post your comments below. Hulk smash, Black Panther, the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support and donate to the channel, I have Patreon. Patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs. Everything's in the description. Until next time, salute.